Hey everybody, Benerman here, back with more Minecraft Run Games, and today I'm going to be using Kit Boxer. Basically what this kit does is, your fists do almost as much damage as a stone sword, so about two hearts, and incoming damage, like fall damage or just damage from other players, is slightly reduced. Today I'm teaming with my friend PJSmith727, who is a berserker, and his friend Myfrost Jones, who is a fireman. And I am obviously a boxer. Rise Invincibility is wearing off. Um, me, PJ Smith, 77, my first drone are kind of sitting in our hole when this guy, Pixu2, tries to attack us. And that's pretty stupid because he's going up against a team of three with all stone swords. Basically what I try to do is I dig up towards him. And then he's trying to attack PJ Smith. But uh, I get the kill, which is good because that's my first kill of the game. A little bit later, me, my first Jones, and PJ Smith are chasing these two guys. One's a uh, Thor, and the other guy, I don't know what he is. But um, my first Jones is really good against Thor's because uh, he doesn't take lightning damage or fire damage. So we kill the first guy, and then we're just and my first Jones ha accidentally hits me there, and then we're just chasing after this Thor guy. Um, as you can see, my first Jones is on fire, but uh, it doesn't take any damage because of Kit Fireman. Uh, he chases him down and gets the kill. That's my first Jones' first kill of the game. A couple seconds later, after we're getting some cacti soup, which is basically the desert version of mushroom stew, a uh, little ginger 669 attacks us. And even though he's a viper and he's block hitting, and none of us are block hitting, he stands no chance because it's three on one, so he's pretty much dead. And I get the kill there, and that was my second kill of the game. A little after that, we're digging down to find these two guys to get some more kills. And um, I'm just digging in there, and I pop out on their cave, and it turns out they actually had iron swords. So I kind of fight this guy, but my first Jones jumps him, gets the kill. I jack the iron from the chest, and GMC 2014 attacks us, and uh, PJ gets his first kill of the game right there. A little bit later, um, we go in this cave hunting this guy, and we found some iron, so we decide just to smelt before we attacked him. So I find about 10 iron here, and PJ Smith finds about 4, which makes about 14 iron with already 12 iron. We have uh, two stone iron swords and an iron chest plate. And so we basically smelt that and look for more iron. A few minutes after that, uh, I get my full iron. My first Jones already has full iron. PJ Smith has full except for a helmet. And as you can see in the chat box, the feast is beginning in one minute, and we're planning to go there. But another thing is, uh, as you can also see in the chat box, Expo PS3, that name there, uh, we're playing team with him at the feast, and so there'll be a team of four with only like 10 people left in the game, so that's pretty good. Uh, as you can see now, we're at the feast, and Expo is the guy in the almost full diamond armor there who won the feast. And so basically I come to him and I block to not look um, threatening, so he knows I'm a team with him. And so basically we just raid the remains of the feast that he didn't get. And now we have a team of four and we're going to go hunting some other people. Uh, as you can see right here, I'm going to get um, an enchantment for my sword. Of course, level one. Um, fortunately, it's smite, which is pretty much useless because we're not really fighting any zombies. Right here, um, I pick up the flint and steel to do the honors of blowing up the feast. And um, basically, I light the TNT right there. Run away! Big explosion! Big success! And uh, we're just plan. All four of us plan on going and hunting down the I think the last four people in the game besides us. And as you see right there in the chat box, uh, the last guy was killed. So it's just me, Expo, PJ Smith, and my first Jones left now. We decide to go back to Feast and fill in the hole that we made with TNT and have a one-on-one-on-one-on-one -on -one -on -one -on -one compass PvP battle, which is basically just your compasses, which you're hitting people with, mushroom stew, 16 mushroom stew, and one piece of steak. No armor, no swords, just those three items. Uh, as I'm counting down to where we start to fight here, um, with Compass PvP, I'm just going to do the uh, review of the kit. I would give it a 5 out of 5 uh, as a boxer kit in the early game. And the reason for that is because we basically don't need a stone sword because incoming damage is slightly reduced and 
uh, your fists do almost as much as stone swords. In the combat area, I'd probably have to give this kid a 4 out of 5. And the reason for that is because we're in the late game when you're not really punching with your fists, more likely with a stone or iron or diamond sword. Um, it doesn't really matter that much, but at the beginning of the game, it really does matter if you like spawn in a desert because then there's no trees. So everyone else is stuck with just regular fists and you actually have super awesome boxer fists. In the late game, I probably have to give this kit a 4 out of 5. And you guys might be thinking, well, why is he giving it a 4 out of 5 if uh, your fists do as much as stone sword and you're not really using a stone sword in the late game? And, well, my answer to that is, is I give it a 4 out of 5 because the incoming damage is slightly reduced. And that means every type of damage, fall damage, incoming player damage, all that is slightly reduced, and it's actually very helpful in the long run of things. In the troll factor area, I'd have to give this kid disappointing 2.5 out of 5. And the reason it got 2.5 is because it's just not that fun to use like some of the other kits that you just tr go around trolling people with, like Digger and Thor. It's a good kit to actually win the Hunger Games. But the reason why it gets a 2.5 sort of like higher than Vampire is because you can still kind of troll people if you're going in a fist fight because your fists would do a lot more damage. And that's why we did Compass PvP in this video, not fists, because I would kick everyone's ass. And lastly, there is the overall kit effect. And overall kit effect gets a 4 out of 5. And the reason why it gets a 4 out of 5 is because this kit has a great effect. Early game, late game, whatever you want to call it, is two major effects that could be their own kit by themselves. Incoming damage slightly reduced and fists do almost as much as stone sword. And both the but both those effects combined makes an amazing kit. I think you guys should really try it out because I really love it. It's probably one of my favorite kits. Overall, the whole everything put together, this kit gets a whopping 19.5 out of 5. And this kit is an amazing kit. I think, personally, it's one of the best of the kits out there. Uh, you guys should really check it out on your next hum Hunger Games games. And tell me what you think of it. Back on track with uh, the Compass PvP. It's been going on for several minutes here. And actually, PJ Smith 727 dies here to Expo PS3. So that brings us down to the final three players. Me, Expo PS3, and my first Jones. Right here, the PvP gets really intense, and I actually end up killing my first Jones, which is good, but I kill him with my fists accidentally because I forgot to switch back to my compass after stewing. Uh, and the killing him with fists gave me a major advantage because of Boxer's really good effect of making your fists stronger. But now it's just down to me and Expo one on one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be back next time with more Minecraft Hunger Games. And I'm also starting up some new Let's Plays and other series like that. And I hope you enjoy the PvP. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Oh yeah, and shout out to Expo PS3, PJ Smith 727, and MyFirst Jones. They're all amazing guys and really good at PvP. Hope you check out their channel sometime. And I'll see you next time on Better Than Minecraft Hunger Games.